seconds. Welcome to the John Fenton GNCC, and it is time to go racing. Come on, throw the flag. All right, so we got a terrible jump there off the start. My bike started, but it bogged down, and then Chase sliding out. So we're going to get pushed back a few more spots because we had to go around him and then Ben going down in this corner. So right off the bat, it was slick there. And uh, going into the woods here, let's see, we're one, two, three, yeah, too many to count. But we're back a little ways and got some work to do. So going into today, I knew it was going to be a hot, long day, and it's already getting warm here. So sun is out. It's first hot race, I'd say, of the season. So um, everybody is going to be feeling it a little bit, but hopefully the conditioning and stuff pays off for us um, at, towards the end of the race. So. Alright, so right now I'd say we're probably 7th or 8th, um, and we're behind Zach Hayes here, last year's champion, so um, just going to try to work our way up to the front and hopefully have a, have a good race. that went down in the second corner flying by us here and uh, what better way to uh, learn and get some speed than try to hold on to him and uh, go through the pack and then Chase coming around the outside there he also went down in that start so two kind of the faster guys in the class uh, went down on the start and having to play catch up so uh, just, you know, try to hang with them and see what we can do. Coming out into these fields, man, it is dusty and then like about overshot that corner there but as soon as we get into the woods we get treated to this perfect dirt and no dust out in the woods it's pretty well perfect but being Ohio it is super slick and some of it like that the quads just shined off is so slick and coming up this hill here we about slipped on it too that hill was probably one of the trickier ones just because it kind of had like steps in it and once you go up one then the next one was steeper so you kind of just try to keep your momentum going up the whole thing. <laughs> and then back out into the dust because I don't I guess because just the sun shines on it and it dries it out. But. Yeah, whatever. You guys already know that. I don't need to explain all that, but science, okay? I 
Buck talked about it in the previous race about trying to get in the flow and that's kind of what I struggled with here the past couple races but finally starting to kind of just feel it right off the bat and that's what we've been struggling with uh, the, like the past three or so races just really struggling on the first couple laps so it's good to finally feel halfway decent on the first lap we're not all the way where I want to be but definitely a big improvement compared to what we've been doing and um, so just gonna try to take it and roll with it this race and hopefully improve in the next coming races just like that first lap speed is pretty wild with those top guys and um, obviously they keep going fast throughout the race but um, we lose a lot of time on the first couple laps for sure I think, I think Zach there hit a root going up that hill and it just shot him off to the left side. So we're able to get around him and just going to try to keep pushing on. And this section here may not look like it, but it was so slick. on the next big hill climb here and when I was biking the track I was like all right go to the left stay to the left and then coming up here I don't know what I was thinking so we about screwed that up coming up to the hill on those rocks but made it up thank you guys for cheering me on and we made it through we got Jojo from the A class and Bubs coming by us here so these are our A class leaders and just you know when somebody passes you just try to hang on to him for a little bit but that hill another slick spot so lost a little bit of time i think the four strokes may have had a bit of an advantage not to use it as an excuse but um the trackability on the four strokes would have been probably nice for a race like this today <laughs> This is kind of in the middle of the John Penton section. Uh, it was probably about four miles long. It had a lot of grass track, but then the spots that weren't grass track and out in the woods were pretty tight and technical. So a lot of single track and then kind of like a sprint enduro styled grass track. The Ohio slick dirt claims another victim. At this point in the race, I'm like, all right, it's it's a slick day. So uh, play this first lap out and just kind of get rolling here. And then once we get comfortable, start going a little harder. But found out pretty quick that the dirt's slick. section and I'm loving this single track um, overall the trail even like without this section it was pretty tight and technical I'd say um, some slick rocks obviously the slick dirt and then um, just with all that made it slow down quite a bit the track was longer and we had some long lap times like 
my lap times were around 40 minutes so definitely a long day out in the woods and I think my total time for the day spoiler I finished this one unlike the last one uh, we were at about three and a half hours for the race of that section the bike only section and back onto quad trail making our way through this lap and just like I said when somebody catches you and passes you let them go but try to catch on to them so that's exactly what we're doing here and um, that's really one of the main ways that I've been able to learn this season at the GNCC's being my first year racing them all so uh, once I get behind somebody that I know is, you know, a solid rider that rides his GNCCs, try to watch them and see what they're doing good and pick up on some of that stuff. haven't already be sure to check out yesterday's video at the GNCC this weekend is pretty much everything all the racing just not any GoPro so I'm um, gonna keep doing the GoPro videos and then have like kind of the race weekend vlog if you will so um, be sure to check out that video uh, we are going through pro pits now and uh, a little bit of time to relax here um, you know it's not really bumpy or anything so I usually try to use this time to loosen up the arms maybe get a drink and uh, kind of plan out how I want the rest of the day to go a little bit into the woods and it's time to put a little bit of a push in and all right great way to start out back into the woods here but missing that corner I'm sure I wasn't the only one to do that I did it almost every single lap could never remember it until like the very last two laps so there had to be other people doing it. if you guys raced let me know if you guys missed that corner because hopefully I wasn't the only one checked in through the finish and we're headed on to another lap here back into the woods coming up on that big first hill climb we see the crowd gotta get ready go up this big hill here got a good run oh yeah nice nice Noah all right sweet so we kind of got kicked there by some roots and then obviously slowed down and going up like that next little step I was in way too high of a gear didn't even think about shifting down and fell over so luckily I ended up making it up I didn't have to go all the way back down but fell down lost some time and yeah that was that was a big mistake on my part but ended up here doing pretty good throughout the rest of the day felt felt the flow like I talked about a little bit more than the rest of the races and was able to ride it in for a fourth place so that's my best finish in my class so far and um, excited to see kind of what the rest of the season brings and ready for the next one for sure so um, thank you guys for watching this video and if you guys haven't already be sure to subscribe like you guys know everything 
won't keep hounding you about it, but we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.